where are you planning on building a presidential library in Hawaii or your home country of Kenya? Because, I mean, both places seem like they would be... Zach, that's a ridiculous question. Well, you know... I mean, but ridiculous questions are Zach Galifianakis' forte, and the comedian pulled no punches in his latest sketch. Barack Obama is no stranger to late-night television, but an online mock talk show, that is a first. Since the video was posted this morning, more than 8 million people have clicked the link, showing a new side of Obama and giving him access to an audience that doesn't usually hear presidential addresses. Ron Charles has more. And we started. Comedic actor Zach Galifianakis has hosted a lot of celebrities on his satirical online talk show Between Two Ferns, playing a clueless and insulting interviewer with guests in on the act. Spanking me, man. What are you doing? He has spanked Justin Bieber. Whoa! Did you know that some actors turn down roles? Insulted Did Bruce Willis and propositioned yeah. Natalie Portman. What is your phone number? That's, that's private. All of it drawing huge audiences of young viewers to the website Funny or Die. My guest today is uh, Barack Obama, President Barack Obama. So what, you may ask, is the President of the United States doing here? Is it going to be hard in two years when uh, you're no longer President and people will stop letting you win at basketball? In his six-minute, 18-second segment, Obama handily played straight man to Galifianakis's feckless, deadpan host. Okay, let's get this out of the way. What did you come here to plug? But Obama was there to deliver a message, encouraging young people to sign up for health care before the March 31st deadline. Have you heard of the Affordable Care Act? Oh, yeah, I heard about that. That's the thing that doesn't work. Americans seem not to mind the medium of their president's message. It was a great ploy to get across a health care agenda that um, has struggled to reach young people. I'm not really for Obama specifically, but I think that it kind of helps it make him more appealing. Public relations expert John Crean says the new frontier for politicians trying to reach young audiences is definitely online. They're going to have to leverage social media channels to get their story out, whether that's photographs on Instagrams or daily or hourly tweets, and certainly interviews and, uh, and you know, putting video out. By some measures, Obama was successful. His government's health care website did see a spike in visitors sent there from a link in the Funny or Die video. Ron Charles, CBC News, Toronto.